Just make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath in and allow your eyes to close. And as you do that, just allow yourself to drift off in your thoughts. And let your imagination follow the sound of my voice. And it really doesn't matter if your imagination takes over. So that the sound of my voice fades into the background. Because you're unconscious. Mind will still be listening. And I'd like you to imagine a scene from many years ago before there were ships on the oceans or airplanes in the skies cars on the roads long before there were even roads in fact before writing even before history began a time when a small tribe of wanderers gentle people living the simplest of lives happened upon a familiar part of their world, a part they had seen a few seasons before. And this small band lived on the move, as all humanity did in those days, living off the land and the rivers, and moving on when it suited them. And this particular place was especially pleasing to them. Whenever they came here, the grass was always lush and food was plentiful. And one of their number began to recognize that this land seemed to prepare itself with the passing of suns and moons. And he thought about this though at first he said nothing to the others. But after a while he told them what he had discovered. And soon they began to farm this land. And they discovered how to make themselves shelters out of the natural resources they found there. And so it was they had formed the very first particle, just a tiny particle of civilization. And their life was comfortable and food was plentiful. So that after some time had passed, their early travels had become nothing more than a distant memory. But then one day their comfortable way of living changed suddenly and dramatically as another band of warriors arrived in their new world individuals who were stronger than them and not at all gentle individuals whose entire way of being was to dominate and control and in no time at all they had claimed ownership of this place And even worse, they forced the gentle settlers, those who had first farmed this land, to do their every bidding. But the settlers adapted and changed as the seasons passed, learning how to share their life and their world with these newcomers. And it wasn't long before the newcomers changed as well, becoming more gentle and less dominant except for when they needed to repel the occasional onslaught from another warrior band. And the first settlers realized with some joy that they were being protected, that these warriors with whom they shared their world were actually helping them to survive. And they found a special sort of strength and unity, a special strength and unity, which they knew would endure through any challenge. And many years passed, 
using which some of them, both the warrior and settler tribes, reverted to the early ways of their ancient ancestors and began to travel the land once again, carrying all sorts of news far and wide to others, sometimes teaching them how to create the same beginnings of civilization. Centuries passed, and a generation after generation of these same people, all sharing the same strengths, and the hundreds of years became thousands, thousands of years which saw earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, massive storms and hurricanes that would decimate huge tracts of lands. And the people traveled further and further, migrating into different worlds, sometimes joining in the battles that would rage for years. And still the strength of those first settlers prevailed, being passed on from father to son, mother to daughter. And there were many who sought to change things. And then came the crusades and famine and plague. Witches, wizards and warlocks, tyrants and cruel rulers, those who sought to control by creating fear and terror among their people. And yet, still the strength of those early settlers carried on, surviving every trial, every test, never giving way, never giving in, never giving up because they had a deep and certain knowledge that their strength and unity would prevail, that they would finally achieve their goals. And yet more time passed and great inventions were created. Industry began and then there came railways, telephones, motor cars, great ships which would carry people across the oceans to the four corners of the world. Airplanes and more battles, the like of which had never been seen before, but yet still the strength of those early settlers survived. And then, not long ago, in the great scheme of things, maybe only few years ago or so, two of these people met and became one and brought together their own individual streams of history, which had been handed down to them from their ancestors. And after a little while, a very special individual was born an individual who was directly related to that one who first discovered how to farm. An individual who possesses the sum total of all humanity's strength and skills. And that person is you. For you have inherited the strength and resources of all those who have gone before you, strength and resources which will allow you find great success in your life. And as you are so relaxed there, you are now letting go of any need to hold back words or feelings. And by listening to all the suggestions I'm giving you, you have opened yourself up for change. And now as the subconscious mind begins to work to make these changes and accept these suggestions to set you free, free from the feelings, thoughts and habits that have caused you so much difficulty in the past. 
now is the time and this is the place to allow yourself to change and you are going to find yourself becoming calmer and your words will just begin to fall out of your mouth streaming out in perfect time with your thoughts. Those barriers have been removed. And you are now going to be amazed that with every single day that passes, you are going to be speaking more and more distinctly. And with every day that passes, you are going to be speaking more and more confidently building your self-esteem and building your self-acceptance. Now, you no longer have a need to hold back what you want to say. You do not have to hold back anything at all. As a matter of fact, you are even through holding back words. You are ready to let these words be formed in your voice box easily and completely you won't even have to think about it your subconscious mind knows how to make words perfectly sentences too some of the time and perhaps most of the time it manages perfectly and it is when you interfere by trying to hold back that you have trouble and now your mind will be where it should be on what you are thinking the mind will just automatically take care of forming the words as you let that automatic part of your mind do what it does best you don't have to think about breathing in fact, if you do, even your breathing won't come out right. Because from now on, it makes no difference what the occasion is. It won't make any difference whether you are alone or with one other person. Nor will it make any difference whether you are talking to a group. you will now begin to speak more spontaneously be it to friends or strangers you're just going to let the words come right out whenever you want to tell someone what is on your mind your mind will focus on your thoughts and the automatic part of the mind will turn your thoughts into speech anytime you wish to express yourself they will just come out easily like they are just falling right out of your mouth and from this day forward from now on your mind will be on what others are trying to say to you in the past you have been much too focused on yourself and focusing on yourself does not work. Focusing on what and how you say each word does not work. And you know this is true because you've tried it and it does not work. And this is a new fresh start because you are moving on from the past into the here and now. And all that has ever happened can no longer affect you. It is only history. And you never have to feel those old useless feelings again. You are forgiven. All others are forgiven. You don't have to be frightened any longer. You are not the child that was impressed with the sensation of holding back words. That child is now safe and secure. You are safe and secure. And your 
unconscious mind is now realizing that you are a grown person you are able to do all of the things that any other adult is able to do you have a right to express yourself clearly you will do this bravely letting go of the past I've seen many other people who normally don't stutter at all and then they were, when they are near a person who does they also begin to stutter this is because they become overly self-conscious of what they are saying and then they have more difficulty listening to what the other person is saying and if they become nervous they will even stutter more I know this is true because it has happened to me and I have seen it happen to others so from now on when in the future you find that you slip up on a word I want you to know that it is only natural all people from time to time will stutter and if they start to feel nervous or upset they will stutter even more until they direct their attention away from the formulation of the words and back to the content of what they are saying and the effect that it is having on others these other people are able to stop stuttering because they do not focus on the words but rather on what they are saying and from this point on your words will just fall out your mouth and if you stutter it means nothing all people do just let that automatic part of your mind go back to work it will do what it does best turn your attention back to what you are thinking or who you are speaking to and you will be able to express yourself much more successfully and easily and when you are ready bring all the awareness back into your body bringing your attention back to the here and now feeling really good and excited about the changes you have begun to make doing all that in your own way in your own time